Chivos here bringing my match review for Melbourne Victory and Central Coast Mariners. So my team Melbourne Victory won. It was a 2-1 win against Central Coast at home. That's right at Amy Park. It was a good team performance and it ensured we got the victory although there was a slight scare late on in the match. Both teams were without key players and were forced to play slightly rotated squads, although clearly the biggest name miss missing was Bessart Barusha. You know, his top goal scorer, or equal top goal scorer in the league at the moment with five goals. You know, Bessart Barusha is, and I say this every week, he's one of the best strikers the A-League's ever had, if not the best. So, to be without him was huge. Howard, uh, the young star, got his first ever A-League start, tried to fill his shoes, but unfortunately it wasn't enough. Um, we were also without Carl Valeri and Jason Jerry out due to injuries as well. So uh, three players out, uh, I believe Minane stepped in and uh, was it um, Mahazi stepped in in the midfield as well. Uh, so the Eagle top goal scorer is obviously Bessar Brisha. Not out. Did Howard fill his shoes? Unfortunately not. You know, he did play quite a good game, but he went missing at some stages. You know, at 19 years old, he still has plenty of time to develop, but wasn't necessarily impressed with what what he what he showed in in the game, and he was subbed off in the 69th minute. Kevin Musket obviously didn't want to risk losing his key man, Bessart Barisha. Obviously, he wouldn't have played Howard otherwise. But uh, obviously, Barisha is a key part to any success Melbourne Victory have this year. And to rest him, I think, was probably a better decision. And we did have one man step up, and that was Guy Finkler. He opened up the scoring for Melbourne Victory when he linked up well with Bazanic in the centre of the pitch. Finkel passes the ball to Bazanich, who then he's you know he's he's facing his back to goal. What does he do? Receives the ball, back heels it. Finkler continues his run, and and uh, you know he collects the ball. He's one on one with his own. All the Central Coast Mariners defenders just stopped. They they couldn't believe what happened. Finkler followed his run. He did the right thing. One on one with his own. Puts it right. His own over left. So. No, it was a good goal there, a good team goal between Bazanic and Finkler, and it was only the start. That was in the 16th minute, and then three minutes later, Gajewski makes a run from defence, and what a run it was. He ran half the length of the pitch, if not three quarters, and ended up in the attacking 25 yards. He gets tackled, you know, uh, I can't remember if a card was given, but he was definitely tackled. He goes down. Then Finkler and Bazanic, the two men who set up the first goal, both step up over the dead ball. And Finkler said in his post-game comments, they had a talk about it. And Finkler saw the wall was off centre. He also saw Izzo was wide and too far to his left, or Izzo's right, or Finkler's left. And Finkler decided to step up and take it, killed the ball around the wall in the back of the net. It was 2-0 after 20 minutes and the thing about Guy Finkler is yeah he's getting on a bit but he is one of if not the best dead ball you know free kick taker in the A League I call him the dead ball specialist because it's what he is you give him a dead ball 9 out of, nine out of 10 times it is going in and this proved why you know Guy Finkler very very good footballer for the A League and you know his free kicks are a masterclass to watch it is it is great viewing. But then one minute later, Central Coast had a shout for a penalty decision that wasn't given. And the thing you've got to look at is with these decisions, it really depends on the referees. You know, on, on another day, the referee might have given it. On, today, today's referee didn't give it. You know, do you think that was the right decision? Do you not think that was the right decision? Let me know in the comments section below. You know, it's, it's a questionable call. But the, th the thing is, it could happen on, on any given day. So, I mean, what can you say? It's, it's really up to the referee, and the referees decided against, and it wasn't a penalty. So, the game's played on. 
But then the last goal of the game came from substitute Matt Sim. Now, you got to remember this name for one reason. That was because last week in my review, I did say Matt Sim came on as a substitute and David Carney crossed the ball in to a header. Well, guess what happened this week? Matt Sim comes on as a substitute. Central Coast get a corner laid on. Guess who is in the box? Matt Sim. Guess who heads the ball in to the back of the net? It's Matt Sim. Two weeks in a row, two goals, two substitute appearances. I think Central Coast may need to look at starting him. That would probably be a good idea for them. And Vukovic was beaten. Very unlucky there for Vukovic not to keep a clean sheet, especially so late on in the match. But, you know, obviously there was a bit of a worry there conceding so late on, but we were lucky enough to hold out. And, you know, it was, a, it was a good result there for Melbourne Victory. But, obviously, a Finkler double was enough to seal the deal. If it wasn't for Finkler, then I don't know where the goal would have come from. Yes, we were good uh, attacking-wise, but Howard, I don't think he would have scored. Maybe Barb Roosters or Kel Fowler could have stepped up. But Finkler was really in form in today's game. So, credits, credits given where credits due to Guy Finkler. Very, very good performance from him. The win sees Melbourne victory climb to the top of the table. I repeat, we are top of the table and we have a game in hand. The thing is, though, we might not stay top of the table for this weekend's fixtures because if Brisbane, Brisbane Raw win their match, they will go top of the league. So if Brisbane slip up, we're clear at the top with a game in hand. If Brisbane do manage to win this weekend, well then, we we still have the game in hand, so we're lucky there. But, man of the match went to Guy Finkler, obviously scoring the brace for Melbourne Victory Football Club. And the other thing is, his amazing free kick. You've got to give him man of the match, surely. He put in a great performance, say, and, you know, I, I, I love watching Guy Finkler play. He's one of my personal favourites uh, of the squad. And, uh, you know, he, he's an exceptional player. But the main thing we need to see here on the other side of the, uh, the, the fence is Central Coast. And this loss now is Central Coast's sixth, that's correct, sixth game without a win. Now, I find that hard to believe because Central Coast started off not too bad, but I did criticise their football early on in, in the year. And uh, was it say if you're not winning in six, that could be a problem. Yeah, they're picking up draws, but no wins is a problem. And uh, without wins, you're probably gonna you're probably gonna slip down the table, which is not what they want. But the win for Melbourne Victory sees five consecutive wins in all competition. Obviously, you have the FFA Cup win against uh, Perth Glory. Was it not last? Yeah, la I think last weekend. The week might have been the weekend before when we won against Perth Glory. So that game is obviously included, but five consecutive wins. It's a good streak going into the uh, the second quarter of the season. So, you know, Melbourne Victory really, really finding their stride now. The reigning champions hoping to win the title again this year, and it looks like they're on course to do so. So if Sydney slip up again, or even if Brisbane slip up this weekend, then Melbourne Victory can really capitalise on that when they play against Perth on the 15th of December. I think I think it's the 15th of December when we play our game in hand against Perth Glory. But my name has been Chivos. Leave a like if you have enjoyed the video. Don't forget to comment down below about what you thought with the penalty decision. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more Melbourne Victory Football Club related content. And I'll catch you guys on another video.